we got busy with Liberty County Sheriff's Office as well. Um, look, I got a, they've been fighting me to the nail down courthouse, right? And that's fine. They know I know that they're full of it, and I don't care that they know it. I'm, that, I don't care what cameras roll, okay? Well, we got into the business with Liberty County Sheriff's Office because it's Pandora Police were giving us all these numbers of people that they were arresting, right? And when Splendor police pulls you over and you don't have, and look, the illegal immigrant thing is, y'all, look, I'm not casting any doubt. Yeah, I have my own personal feelings, but I'm just telling you that when you don't have documents, you don't have social security, you don't have license, you don't have inspection stickers and you're driving around in a car, somebody in this town is gonna get killed. Somebody's baby's gonna get killed. And that's not funny, okay? And so there is a responsibility of law enforcement just say, look, I pulled you over. I ain't pulling you over because you're Hispanic. I'm pulling you over because you're speed and you don't have any documents. Splendor police have a, a mobile way to check right away with immigration to see if, if this is a bad person, okay? Liberty County doesn't. So Liberty County Sheriff, and this goes to the politics of your area. All these, you know, I'm a, in my personal life, I'm a Republican, so I, so I speak out of that thing, okay? All these guys out here, all these tough Republicans, right? They're all tough on immigration, right? We asked the Liberty County Sheriff's Office for information on, on their, their arrests and their immigration. Can I tell you something? Three months later, we're still trying to get it. They're trying to hand scratch stuff, okay? Because the reality is there's a law in this state which allows law enforcement to do what they should, which is when they pull someone over for a legitimate reason, and they don't have the proper documents, they have a right to check them out. Your sheriff doesn't do it. Now, I ain't saying it's because of Trey Harris. I'm just telling you folks that one of the things I hope when I leave here, and we're all just buddies, is that you folks pay more attention, right? It's easy for your politicians. Your state representative, I'll leave you with that. Your state representative, who came up here at the last meeting, I guess it was the first meeting in a while, and, and spoke. Uh, he hadn't talked to me since. Um, I've asked him for all his records, all his email communications. He's told me to go to hell. He's fighting it in Austin. Your county commissioner, Mr. Widmeyer, nice guy, right? But he won't help me, okay? And, and because they say he's got a conflict of interest because he did some work for Trey Harris. I don't think he's conflicted. In fact, they could waive that conflict in a minute. I think he wants to help, but he's afraid to help. Right? You folks, when I'm long and gone, right, you guys can always call me. I'm telling you, you got to get smarter and tougher and stop trusting these folks just because they say it the right way. 